Hello, and thank you for joining us for this New Year's devotion. I'm Pastor Stephen Keel. We begin this devotion as we begin all things in the name of the triune God, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Let us pray. Lord God, as one year draws to a close and another begins, we come before you with humble and grateful hearts. Stay with us and warm our hearts with your forgiving love in Christ. May your word keep our faith burning brightly that we may walk in the light of your presence through the darkness of this world. Through Jesus Christ our Lord, amen. What do you think? As we enter into a new calendar year, can we give thanks to God in advance for the whole thing? Without yet knowing exactly what's around the pike for us in this new year? As I ask that question, perhaps you're thinking to yourself, how can I praise God or give thanks to God for a year that I haven't lived yet? I mean, I don't know what's going to happen to me this coming year. Uh, I don't know if I'm going to become sick or chronically ill. I don't know if I'm going to lose my job or fall into hard times in certain areas of my life. I don't know if perhaps a dear loved one is going to be taken from me through death in this coming year. So, so how can I give thanks to God or praise God for a, a new year if I don't know the future? Well, that's true. We don't know the future, nor can we look into the future. But we do have God's word. And God's word is like a telescope into the heart of God. And God, of course, is the one who holds the future in his hands. None of us knows if we're going to be richer or poorer in this coming year. But we do know from God's word that we're not going to lack any necessary thing. That's why Jesus says in Matthew chapter 6, Do not worry about your life or what you'll eat or drink or about your body, what you'll wear. The pagans run after these things, but your heavenly Father knows that you need them. But seek first his kingdom and his righteousness, and all these things will be given to you as well. None of us knows if we're going to experience more suffering than joy in the coming year. But we do know from God's word that in heaven, we have God as our father. And he's a mighty father. Without his ordaining, nothing can happen to us in this life. God has already measured out our sufferings and our joys from eternity. And he's the leader of our life. He's the one who leads us down the path that we walk. He, he holds us by our right hand and, and leads us with his counsel. He's the one who uh, neither slumbers nor sleeps, but watches over his people. None of us knows what temptations or tests of faith we're going to face in the coming year. But we do know from God's word that no matter how frail or, or weak our faith may be at a certain time, a bruised reed he will not break and a smoldering wick he will not snuff out. No, our hearts may be fickle at times, but God's commitment to us and his eternal covenant is constant. He who began a good work in us will do his part to bring it to completion on the last day. Ultimately, too, none of us knows if we're going to die this coming year. But we do know from God's word that whether we live, we live to the Lord, and whether we die, we die to the Lord. Uh, so therefore, whether we live or whether we die, we are the Lord's. If we live, we get to serve God in all of our callings in this, in this life, even as we experience his grace in this broken world. And if we die, that is the beginning of our bliss with God in heaven. So either way, we can be thankful. We enter this new year with the confidence that God is in heaven and his greatest want is to save us. So therefore, whatever happens to us in this life, it must serve his purpose of saving us. Because God would never intend evil for us. No, everything, health or sickness, glory or shame, joy or suffering, 
all of it must serve his eternal purpose for us and serve us for our best. Whatever burden God allows to be laid on to us this coming year, he will certainly give us the strength to bear it. So, fellow Christians, don't enter this new year as if it's some kind of closed book of which you can know nothing of the future. No, we enter this new year not alone, but with the Lord. And so whatever path he leads us down this coming year, whether it's a path up a mountain or down into a valley, whether it's a path through flowers or over thorns, whether it's a path through darkness or light, through rough times or easy times, whether it's a long time or a short time, we know that this path leads through God's kingdom of grace and its final destination is our heavenly home. So, brothers and sisters in Christ, let's enter this new year with that sort of confidence that God is with us and he will bring us home. Amen. There is a time for every activity under heaven. So therefore, let us join together and enter this new year by coming to God in prayer. We give thanks, O Lord, for all the blessings of the past year. Though there have been challenges, your abiding love has remained constant. In these difficult times, continue to provide for all of our needs of body and soul. Protect your church from the assaults of the evil one. Keep all pastors from false teaching and guard your flock from indifference and apathy. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. Bless the resources of the earth and the labor of all workers. Bless our children. Grant that they may grow in virtue and faithfulness until the end. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. Have mercy on those who are lonely, tired, anxious, or despairing on those without home or employment or family, on those who have lost hope, and on those whose holiday joy has become sorrow for any reason. Remember us in our dark times and teach us not to worry about the future. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. Merciful Lord, forgive us for the sins of the past year. As we enter into this new year, we confess that we are at times anxious and uncertain for we do not know what will happen to us. Yet, Lord, we know that you will be with us according to your mercy. Bless the work of Shepherd of Peace in this new year. Help us all to grow in wisdom and to share your word with all and to support your work with generous prayers and offerings. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. And now, Lord, hear us as we bring to you our private petitions as we enter this new year. Heavenly Father, we thank you for the promise of your abiding love and blessing. In your mercy, help us to enter the new year trusting in the name of your Son and walking in the way of his peace. Through Jesus Christ our Lord, in whose name we also join to pray. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory forever and ever. Amen. And may the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with us in this new year and always. Amen. Thank you for joining us for this New Year's devotion. May God bless you in 2022 and onward. <laughs>